Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax. Today, something a bit different. Well you see, during the building of the dream garage, there's a lot of stuff that belongs in the garage that I just couldn't fit anymore. So I had to purchase this shed behind me here. I think it's 18 by 12 to keep all my motorcycles and you know, yard stuff. So today, I'm gonna to be painting this. So I thought a time-lapse of painting always is satisfying. So enjoy this terrible task of painting because I absolutely hate painting. painting but now it's trim time
trying to get couple days since I finished my shed I know this has got uh, nothing really to do with a garage but when you think about it the only reason I got the garage is or the shed is because my garage is taken up for a workspace so any of you guys that are gonna build out your garage keep in mind all the crap that's in your garage needs to go somewhere so let's check out what I've done here so there's still some tools in here that I need to sort out. I'm basically done, minus uh, I installed a, a motion light up top there. I just need to run an extension uh, cord. There's a, a, a plug point right there. And then, that's why these tools are here. And then I'm gonna put a motion light right above, above this entrance here somewhere. And then on the side of the shed here as well. Uh, mainly it's just so I can see things at night. So here's how I organized it. I put in these uh, rafters here for all the stuff I don't really need. My R8 exhaust is up there. Um, random stuff. My DR650. My daughter's ATV and snowmobile. Tennis rackets because this is on the side of my tennis court. And then my Ural. Uh, and a couple shelves in the bicycles. So ideally, this will all be gone. I hate shop vacs. I need one, but I hate storing them. So I'll find another place for that. But right now, this is the final look. Uh, I also need to hook up a battery tender for all these things. So that's what I'm gonna do is just run wires around the shed so I can have all of these plugged in. Uh, everything has a battery except for the snowmobile the other problem is I still have two more motorbikes they're actually at my parents house so I don't have space for them so yeah I got too much crap uh, one man too many toys so maybe time to uh, start selling some things I don't know but that's for this springtime I'm not selling motorbikes in the in the fall so Hopefully that gives you an idea of how or what you got to remember when, you, when you're building the ultimate garage. You know, you, you want the garage you're working in, at least my garage that I'm going to be working on cars, to be only about my tools and the things I need to work on my cars. I don't need my lawn equipment or, or extra motorbikes or bicycles in the way of stuff because uh, that just makes working on your, your project inefficient so I got the shed put everything in here to get it out of there it is part of the the dream garage build because this is what you got to think about there's a ton of stuff here that needs to still be stored and I still need to have uh, so if you have any questions about the shed I'll be happy to answer them it's a 18 by 10 uh, should have gone 19 <laughs> by 12 but another thing I did is, cause, um, you know, there's a lot of money in here. I've put lock boxes and locks on all my, my windows there. 
and, and then I have uh, a security camera that's going inside and outside of the shed. So that's it for today's video. Uh, thanks a lot. Be sure to like, subscribe, ask any questions. Uh, until next time, see you then.